Our top story at 10. One year ago, investigators say Melissa Perez was shot and killed inside her apartment by San Antonio police while she reportedly was suffering a mental health episode. Three officers are charged in connection to her death awaiting trial. Today, her family gathered at her gravesite to honor her life. Ken's Five reporter Megan Reyna was there. She joins us live in studio tonight. And Megan, the family is still awaiting justice. In fact, Alicia, the, this week the family tells me they are hoping to learn when the trial will be held for those three former officers. They are being tried together. Melissa Perez's daughter told me today she's been at almost every hearing praying for three convictions. Funny though. She was funny? Yeah. And what do you miss about mom? The cooking. The Four cooking. kids the navigating cooking. life without their mom. Three young sons and daughter, Alexis Tovar. You know, I have a daughter now, so like having my daughter and hugging my daughter just makes me like emotional because I wish I could hug my mom. It was around 2 a.m. Friday, June 23rd, 2023. Investigators say 46-year-old Melissa Perez had tinkered with her fire alarm, sparking a law enforcement response. The family says she was in the midst of a schizophrenic episode and believed the FBI was using the fire alarm equipment to spy on her. This time last year, I was at the headquarters watching the raw of that body cam footage. At one point, investigators say Perez barricaded herself inside her apartment and threw a hammer at her window. Three now former SAPD officers are seen jumping onto her patio, shooting at her, hitting her at least twice. They placed themselves in a situation where they used deadly force which was not reasonable. Former Sergeant Alfred Flores and former officer Elazar Alejandro were indicted for murder. Former officer Nathaniel Villalobos was indicted for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. My mom deserves justice and I won't stop until we get it. The family quickly took legal action themselves, filing a wrongful death lawsuit against the three former officers. But Tovar says, if anything, she hopes this tragedy results in real change within policing when it comes to responding to mental health calls. It's heavy every day. I think for the rest of my life, my heart's going to wake up heavy. Love you, Mom. And those three officers have been out on bond. Their next hearing is this Thursday. All three are facing a first degree felony charge and if found guilty could face five to 99 years in prison. Alicia.